Rahu can give that which no other planet can give. Is this true? To what extent? When is it true? When is it not true? Or when is it the opposite? They say sometimes that Rahu can take that which no planet can take away from you. All right. So today's topic of discussion is Rahu and things which Rahu can give or things which he can take away from you. All right. So if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is down below in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Let me check the audio settings. I hope. Oh, okay. All right. I hope you can hear me loud enough. <laughs> all right. So what does Rahu represent? Rahu represents all the unusual things according to one's time, place, circumstances. Rahu and Ketu, they represent boundaries. Wherever Rahu Ketu is sitting in your chart, there you might have to cross certain boundaries. Or the other way around, you might be tempted to cross some boundaries. And it's, it depends on your, uh, I would say, the overall horoscope. Uh, if, we, if you will cross that boundary or will you not? Yes. Now, there are different meanings of this boundary. One boundary is you might have to do something unconventional, which people may not have expected you to do. Uh, that's different. But what I am saying is it depends on will you cross that boundaries or not. I mean to say that some temptations which is prohibited by the scriptures, which is not in uh, accordance with your uh, best version of your life, which you should not do, which can lead to disasters all right, in your own life actually, not in any other person's life. So, so uh, if Rahu is well placed, it can give you the inspiration to... Uh, do things which uh, require you to update and upgrade yourself as per time, place, circumstances. And if Rahu is not well placed, then it could happen that instead, in the name of upgradation and you know, exploration, you are just uh, going on breaking the codes of the scriptures and you are not following anything. Because of that, you will uh, not be happy in the long run. Okay, so that's how you check how your Rahu is. But now the question is, what about uh, what Rahu can give you, what Rahu cannot give you? Okay. So many times people think that wherever Rahu is sitting, he will spoil that house. No, never, never, never. Why, why in the universe will a planet spoil its own house? Why? Never, never, never. So see what happens. You have to understand how malefics behave. If you do not understand who malefics are, how they behave, you will always blame them for everything. So for example, people say that if Rahu is in the ninth house, it is bad for spirituality. Actually, it is not bad. Because if you say Rahu is bad in the ninth house, it means Rahu is bad for himself. Because how, how can a planet do bad to himself? Because he's sitting there. It's not possible. Will you try to kill yourself? Generally not. <laughs> right? But you have to understand what Rahu will do in that house where he sits. So Rahu, now when it comes to ninth house, now ninth house is an exception. Exception means Rahu can be a bit difficult in the ninth house. Why do I say this? Not because he is bad for the ninth house. But the ninth house requires you to uh, follow certain rules, res regulations and restrictions, some prescriptions and some prohibitions. So in that house, if Rahu is there, you might uh, get a higher temptation. So in that case, you could say indirectly, Rahu may not be that great in the ninth house. But that does not mean in any way that he will keep you away from things related to the ninth house. It is better to have a Rahu in the ninth than to have a Jupiter in the eighth. Should I repeat? It is billions and trillions of times better to have a planet, even if it is Rahu in the ninth, then to have a so-called great benefit like Jupiter Venus in the eighth, it is there is like um, millions of uh, times. Uh, it is millions of times better. Why? Because a planet always gives results of the houses which it rules and the house where it sits. Okay. So therefore, uh, 
if Rahu is in the ninth, and of course I have many videos on Rahu and Ketu. Rahu Ketu's results are very different. Rahu Ketu gives results of dispositors, the planets which aspect them also, not who they aspect, who aspect them. So suppose you have Rahu in the ninth and Venus six in the third and aspects Rahu, then Rahu will also give results of Venus. Okay. So for example, if you are Capricorn Lagna, then Venus lords the fifth and the tenth. So Rahu will give results of the 3rd, 5th and 10th along with the ninth house where he is sitting in the Bhav chart. Placements of Rahu should be taken from the Bhav chart. Okay? And he also gives results of planets with whom he is conjunct. Okay? So Rahu gives results of his own placement from the Bhav chart, aspects and conjunctions from the Lagna chart. Okay? So this is something which you need to take care of. And of course the dispositor also, wherever the dispositor of Rahu is sitting in the Bhav chart. He will give results of that house also. Okay. So, for example, uh, in this case, if you are Capricorn Lagna, so Rahu will be in Virgo in the ninth house. And if Mercury is in the second, so Rahu will also give results of the second house and the sixth house. Why? Because Mercury also lords the sixth house. Do not forget. Okay. Uh, that is something which I need to say. So, now if Rahu is in a particular house, and you see all these you know, aspects and conjunctions and the dispositories in some other place. So he will give results of this. And if you're confused, then I'll put a video here at the end. You can watch them, okay? Um, that will give you more understanding of how to judge Rahu and Ketu. But you have to understand that when it comes to giving, giving means when you get something in life, you say, oh, this plant gave me a lot of good things. That means, the houses which are indicated regarding that event that these houses have to be there in the house school related with that plan. So for example, if you talk of marriage, then the second, seventh and eleven, these three houses have to be linked actually. Only then you can claim that, okay, I got married. So then if Rahu Dasha gives you marriage uh, in, in a situation where Rahu is linked with these houses, then you can say that all right, my, I got I got married, but it can happen in a very unusual, unconventional way. Okay, you might get married to a foreigner if the ninth or the twelfth house is linked, because that shows long distance travels. Or you might have an intercaste marriage, you know, so with or interreligious marriage. So that can happen. Now, uh, if the fifth house is linked, it could be a love affair which converts to marriage, the typical love marriage scenario in India. Or if the second house and the fourth house and the ninth house is linked, then it could be an arranged marriage, as it happens in India. So uh, that's how you know that when Rahu gives, or now suppose Rahu is linked with the Dusthamas, then he can give you very shock, shocking incidences, you know, like uh, if the 7th house and the 8th house and the 12th house and the 6th house, these are somehow linked. Then it can happen, now see Rahu is the character for cheating, but Rahu will, see, cheating means, what does it mean when you say I have been cheated? Essentially, the 6th house is activated because 6th house is the breakage of the marriage. So, cheating is primarily from the 6th house and then Rahu adds with it because Rahu is the natural karaka for cheating. Okay? So, therefore, if you have Rahu in the 7th house in the Bhav chart, you should never think that your spouse will cheat on you or you will cheat on the spouse. Never, ever, ever. Okay? I mean, that's not necessary. But many times what happens, people only see the Lagna chart. They have Rahu in the 7th, but in the Bhav chart, it's in the 6th. So, that is why they have this misconception that Rahu in the 7th gives you a cheating spouse or you cheat on the spouse. Okay? But always check the placement of Rahu from the Bhav chart. Okay? So now if the 6th house is somehow linked with Rahu, then it can happen that you might be cheated. You know, you go somewhere and then you come home, you see, you know, your spouse is with somebody else. That can happen. right? But uh, to blindly say that Rahu, uh, and let's talk of money or promotions. You know, if Rahu is linked to the 10th and the 11th, he can give you massive things actually. But similarly, if it is linked with the 8th and the 12th, it can give you massive downs also. So therefore, just blindly, if you say that, oh, Rahu Dasha started, you know, I will get things which no planet has given, or, you know, Rahu Dasha started, Rahu will take everything from me which nobody has taken. Uh, that seems a bit unreasonable and unrealistic to me at least, all right? And I have seen that it doesn't work because Rahu gives results of these houses with whom he's linked with. Okay? So therefore, you should first analyze, forget about the Karakatwa of the planet, which means forget about the nature of the planet. 
treat every planet as the same okay primarily the results come from the houses never 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 anything apart from the houses okay so if you see these good houses are indicated so for example marriage the second fifth seventh ninth and eleventh these are great houses which sustain marriage that's indicated then you will have a great marriage if the if the second sixth tenth and eleventh are linked then it will give you gains in career if the third house and the eleventh house is linked it will give you gains in journalism in youtube social media all this okay if the fifth house is linked the eighth house or the twelfth house it will give you uh love relationships affairs physical relations premarital relations illicit sex and all this you know and there are thousands of things which you can study regarding this okay but the thing is then once you know the houses which raho indicates then you try to see are there any similarities between these houses and the uh natural karakatos for raho like i said sixth house is the house of break of marriage and raho is the karaka for cheating so if rahu is linked to the 6th house and then you your marriage breaks then you can say oh rahu the uh, my spouse cheated on me or maybe i cheated on my spouse all right that that you could say but and also for cheating or all these things many other things have to be seen okay you just cannot say you know because i know many of you have rahu in the 6th house or maybe in the 5th house of your bhav chart you don't know you only see the lagna chart okay so then you will say oh i have rahu in 6th you know my spouse did not cheat on me okay so as i said even if it is there in the 6th house of your bhav chart there are many other placements which you need to check okay so therefore um, don't make a blind judgment a blanket statement like this that rahu can take away anything or he can give me anything all right that is not true right it depends on the houses for that particular event okay so for example people say rahu in the 10th is great but 10th house can give you divorce because it's not a great house for marriage so now it depends you are asking for marriage or for career if you are asking for career it can be great you know if you are asking for marriage or uh, disaster at hand right so therefore it depends so now you may say oh i got a million dollars you know in rahu in the sign in the 10th but then maybe your marriage suffered so then Uh, how do you say was that even good for you or the, was that even bad for you so it depends on the overall chart if you value marriage more then that could be terrible for you if you value money more then maybe that's a great thing that happened in your life all right so therefore two things are very essential the houses and the overall horoscope so this rahu in the 10th can be very good for you or it can be the worst thing that you can have if you are talking from a marriage perspective okay depending on all other placements of course all right that will be all from my side thank you for your patience and if you are unaware of how rahu gives results please watch these videos that i'll put up here and uh, please subscribe to the channel below and consultations are through the website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him